Hi there, my dear entomologist friends. Today I'm going to show you some caterpillars of a very nice moth from uh, Asia. They are Caligula Tibeta, named after our favorite crazy emperor, Caligula. And they're very wonderful and hairy larvae. These are just third instars, which means they're basically still very small. Don't let the looks deceive you. They will become actually become quite big. About as big as the great peacock moth, Saturnia piri, if you know it. So I hope I can film their final instars. Caligula tibeta is in captivity a rather rare species. And with a very unique biology. And these Saturnid moths, they overwinter as eggs. I overwintered the eggs outside in my shed. And they did quite well. Almost all of them hatched in spring. And they're doing very well on Prunus padus. I don't know the, uh, the English name for Prunus padus, but it's a kind of cherry. I think it's, it's bird cherry or something. And, well, they're just wonderful. And I really hope these will make it to adults. And I really hope I will be able to film the final instars that are very large and very woolly and hairy. So basically it's just a small update. Oh and by the way, hidden between the Caligula Tibeta is actually another species of Caligula. Let's see if I can find one. Nope, these are Tibeta. It is Caligula Bois du Valley. Which is an, another species entirely, but it's very well hidden between the Tibeta. It has a different looking larva. Mm. Let's see if I can locate it. Either way, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned. If you follow my channel, uh, there will be a lot of updates this season. Spring is coming and I'm about to receive some shipments of some legendary insects. Some of them that nobody has ever bred before. Ah, there it is. This green one is another Caligula. It's Caligula Bois du Valley. Just compare them. It's less hairy. It's lime green instead of this bluish. Here. Here you can see the difference between the Tibeta, my thumb, and the more green Caligula Bois du Valley. So there it is, just very tiny hatchlings and I really hope I can, can rear them to a very nice big and fat size so I can produce some big adults that will lay eggs for me. Thanks for watching again.